coming up. Storm hits South China. Some areas flooded. 36 wealthy businesswomen from Sichuan Province looking for the one to get married. Africans' protests highlight tensions in Guangzhou. Wildfires in Colorado still going on. The 11th Shenyang International Automotive Industry Expo opened on June 28th. Shenzhou 9 spacecraft to return Friday morning. President Hu in Hong Kong for 15th return anniversary. Hello, welcome to this edition of News of the Week. This is Rui Zi in San Francisco. Torrential rain hits most provinces in South China on June 24, 2012. Fuqing in southeast China's Fujian province was hit by heavy storms for several hours. ICN News has the details. Torrential rain hits most provinces in South China on June 24, 2012. Fuqing in southeast China's Fujian province was hit by heavy storms for several hours. Heavy storms caused serious flooding on the arterial roads in Fuqing, trapping quite a few vehicles and citizens. South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region was also flooded. The downpour also has a serious impact on the agriculture in South China. Houses are submerged by the flood in Zhong. Shan County, South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. Facebook is rolling out the ability for users of the world's most popular social network to edit comments after they are posted on status updates. ICN News explains more. Facebook is rolling out the ability for users of the world's most popular social network to edit comments after they are posted on status updates, where previously the only option was to delete the comment. The change will not be available for comments posted on third-party sites that use Facebook logins for readers. Facebook said that would be considered in the future. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. Recently, a team from the University of Maryland has broken the record for human-powered flight. Let's take a look. A team from the University of Maryland has broken the record for human-powered flight. The team created a helicopter called Gamera 2 and were able to stay in flight for 50 seconds. They fell 10 seconds short of winning the Sikorsky Prize, a $250,000 award created by helicopter pioneer Igor Sikorsky in 1980. The Maryland team almost reached the time requirement of the prize, but in order to win, the helicopter also has to reach a height of three meters, which their craft was not able to do. Many other teams are trying for the prize, but none have ever come this close. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Protests by Africans in Guangzhou last week prompted wide reactions online and served to draw attention to tensions between locals and the southern city's large population of African immigrants. ICN News has the details. More than 100 Africans protested and disrupted traffic on last Tuesday in the capital of China's Guangdong Province after the Nigerian's death. Guangzhou police said the protest started outside the Guangquan police station after the Nigerian man got into an argument with the owner of a motorcycle taxi over a fare, and both people were taken to the station. About four hours later, according to the police statement, the man lost consciousness suddenly and died after efforts to revive him failed. The police statement released last Tuesday said police had acted properly and legally. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. On June 25th, the event of wealthy women looking for a male host of the house was launched in Chengdu. 36 women with more than 10 million yuan are looking for the one in public. Let's take a look. On June 25th, the event of wealthy women looking for male host of the house was launched in Chengdu. 36 women with more than 10 million yuan are looking for the one in public. It is reported that the wealthy women participating in the marriage activities are all from Sichuan Province, mostly settled in Wenjiang, Pixian, Huayang, and Chengdu surrounding areas. They are all VIP members of dating websites, paying at least more than 20,000 RMB membership fee a year. Those women are real estate tycoons, financial giant, or CEO of brand clothing companies. The organizer said, although the activities has not been officially launched, male candidates become an endless stream. More than 300 men have registered currently. Many of them are university teachers, civil servants, and businessmen with desire to combine in the strengths of the merchants, and even Chinese American. 
Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. Wildfires near Colorado Springs are still going on, which caused around 32,000 residents have been forced from their homes. ICN News has the details. Wildfires near Colorado Springs, Colorado, have been burning since Saturday, despite attempts to contain them by the U.S. Forest Service. Around 32,000 residents have been forced from their homes as the fire was blowing through containment lines by 65 mile per hour winds. With weather conditions consistently hot and dry, more of these fires are popping up all over the state. FEMA has been authorized to give federal funding and aid to help fight these fires, and so far, an estimated 33.1 million dollars has been spent trying to contain the blaze. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. A federal judge has approved a motion by Apple blocking Samsung from selling its Galaxy 10.1 tablet. Find out the details. A federal judge has approved a motion by Apple blocking Samsung from selling its Galaxy 10.1 tablet. This is based on Apple's claims that the tablet's design infringes on an iPad-related patent. The Galaxy Tab, which operates on Google's Android operating system, is considered to be the chief competitor to the iPad. This decision comes as the two companies are preparing for a larger trial in which Apple claims that Samsung copied both its iPad design and iPhone design. A ruling on that case could also stop Samsung from selling one of its Galaxy line of smartphones. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. On June 28th, the 11th China Shenyang International Automotive Industry Expo is held in Shenyang International Exhibition Center. Let's take a look. On June 28, 2012, the 11th China Shenyang International Automotive Industry Exhibition is held in Shenyang International Exhibition Center. The exhibition was founded in 1999. After 14 years of development, Shenyang International Automotive Industry Exhibition has become the largest international automotive exhibition in the northeast of China. The indoor exhibition area is 120,000 square meters. The outdoor pavilion has a 20,000 square meter. Display area and 40,000 square meters test drive event space. The current exhibition will carry all new fashion cars of the first half of 2012. More than 30 latest cars, top luxury cars, and 100 car brands will gather in Shenyang, which is a comprehensive upgrade of exhibition scale. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. The Shenzhou Nine manned spacecraft returned to Earth around 10 a.m. Beijing time Friday. Let's take a look. China's manned space program announced in Beijing on Thursday that the Shenzhou Nine manned spacecraft will return to Earth around 10 a.m. Beijing time Friday, according to Commander of the Astronaut System, Mr. Chen Shengguang. All space medical experiments have commenced successfully during the flight and achieved a wealth of valuable data and results. After a follow-up in-depth analysis, this data will help the development of aerospace medicine and the support technology for astronauts having long-term on-orbit space flight. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. Chinese President Hu Jintao on Friday kicked off a three-day visit to Hong Kong to attend a celebration marking the 15th anniversary of Hong Kong's return to the motherland. ICN News has the details. Chinese President Hu Jintao on Friday kicked off a three-day visit to Hong Kong to attend celebrations marking the 15th anniversary of Hong Kong's return to the motherland, and witness the inauguration of the fourth-term government of the Special Administrative Region. Upon his arrival at the Hong Kong International Airport at noon, Hu said the central government is willing to work with the Hong Kong people from all walks of life to draw up the valuable experiences in carrying out the One Country Two Systems policy. Over the past 15 years, for further development, who expressed the hope to visit places as many as possible in order to learn about the city's latest development and progress and have a better understanding of the citizens' life and expectations. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. Now let's take a look at a group of news in brief. BlackBerry maker Research in Motion is considering splitting its business in two, separating its struggling handset manufacturing division from its messaging network. RIM, which last month said it hired J.P. Morgan and RCC Capital to look at its strategic options, could break off its handset division into a separate listed company or sell it. Potential buyers would include Amazon and Facebook, and RIM's messaging network could also be sold or opened up to rivals such as Apple and Google to generate income. Alternatively. 
The company may stay together, but sell a stake to a larger technology firm, such as Microsoft. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Three Bay Area swimmers have gone to the U.S. Olympic Trials in Omaha, Nebraska. Cal senior Caitlin Leverens and alumni Natalie Coughlin and Dana Vollmer will be looking to compete in the events to qualify for the London Games. If they qualify, they could join the U.S. team along with big names like Michael Phelps and Ryan Locke. Coughlin is an 11-time medalist, and if she makes it, this will be her third consecutive Olympic Games. With two of the country's leading swim programs located at Cal and Stanford, it's no surprise that the Bay Area will be well represented. Evening Ho, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Google has created a network of 16,000 computer processors and gave it the ability to learn on its own. The project started as a simulation of the human brain, and so far the network has shown a great ability in recognizing distinct objects. The network was presented with 10 million images randomly selected from YouTube videos, and it was able to teach itself to find cats. The researchers on the project were surprised by this, as they had not taught the network what a cat was, or to find them specifically. This type of technology could be used to improve image searching and our understanding of human vision in the brain, and similar networks could be taught to recognize speech and translate language. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. As the nation awaits the Supreme Court's ruling on health care reform, Americans' doctors are debating a serious issue of their own, the possibility of going out of business. Doctors, especially those operating private practices, said their financial hardship is increasing, making it harder for them to earn a decent living. Doctors operating private practices, both small and large, are feeling more financial pain than those employed by hospitals. In fact, 17% of all doctors with a private practice said they could foresee closing it within a year if their financial situation doesn't improve. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. Families are paying a pretty penny to keep their children busy this summer. The average American family expects to dole out an average of $601 per child this summer, according to data released Wednesday by American Express based on a random sample of 2008 adults and affluent families with annual household incomes of more than $100,000 are dishing out double that amount at an average of $1,116 per kid. Between sleepaway camps, swim clubs, and sports that ramp up between June and September, summer expenses can add up. The majority of families, or 63%, said they will take their children on day trips to theme parks like Disney World or Six Flags, for example, and these excursions are expected to ring in at an average of $208 per child. Another 34% of families are enrolling their children in sports, costing an average $180 per child, while 26% are sending their kids up for educational activities, costing $139 for each kid. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. The U.S. Supreme Court upheld President Barack Obama's controversial health care law today. The vote was close, coming in at 5-4 and 4 opposed, and the White House was in celebration. The most debated section of the law is the requirement of citizens to have health insurance. Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney's campaign received a boost in funding after the announcement of the decision, and Romney said that defeating Obama in November is the only way to get rid of the law, which conservatives consider a costly expansion of government. The law will go into effect in 2014, and it should be a major topic of discussion in the coming election. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. It's day three of the Google I.O. Developer Conference, and thousands of talented developers and engineers are looking at the latest technology. Nearby at the Tech Career Expo, companies are trying to hire some of those talented individuals. Nearly 50 tech employers were hiring mostly computer software application engineers, marketing managers, and web developers. Companies sent promoters to the Developer Conference to try and get some more interest at the Expo. Based on the amount of high-profile companies at the Expo, the market for tech-related jobs seems to be opening up. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco.
The China Movie Channel will launch an online movie streaming service similar to Netflix in China later this year. Paramount Pictures is set to provide movies and TV shows for the service, and the company behind the service is in talks with other studios as well. To create a new service, China Movie Channel has partnered with Jaflix Enterprises, a group that includes Hollywood producer Sid Gaines. China Movie Channel's current online movie service, M1905.com, has over 6,000 Chinese language movies and will convert into new service when it comes online. Yi Binghe, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. After a five-year marriage, Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes are splitting up. Holmes has filed for divorce, according to her attorney Jonathan Wolf. The two started dating in 2005 after Tom's agent contacted Katie's publicist to arrange a meeting for the first time. By the end of the meeting, Cruise asked Holmes out on a date. In June of 2005, Cruise proposed to Holmes on top of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. In April of 2006, Holmes gave birth to a baby girl named Suri. The following November, Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes were married in Rome with a huge turnout of friends and family. The pending divorce will be Holmes first and Cruise third after splitting up with Mimi Rogers in 1990 and Nicole Kidman in 2001. Yi Binghe, Regina Liu, ICN, San Francisco. That's all for this edition of News of the Week. I'm Rui Zi in San Francisco. Thank you for staying with us. Have a nice weekend. Bye for now.